All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic, and welcome back to another video. We are here at Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios in Hollywood. Before coming here, I knew I had to bring Beckham. He's a huge Mario fan. In the past, I surprised him with a dream gaming setup, and I got him a Mario toy, and he didn't care about the gaming setup at all. He only went for the toy. So I know you love it. I'm excited. I've always loved Nintendo growing up. I played all the games, Nintendo 64, the Wii, GameCube, you name it. To everyone that's not able to come to Universal Studios, I hope you guys get a good sneak peek while we're in there. Go ahead and drop a like, subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers. This park is not even open yet. It officially opens on February 17th. The thing is too, I literally just came here yesterday with Rug, but now I'm here with my son Beckham. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. High five. Yeah. And let's enter the tunnel. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, now I believe we are in a castle. This looks like Princess Peach's castle. Oh, Beckham, we're here. Yeah, this is crazy. Crazy. I see some floating coins. I see mushrooms. I see pow bricks. I see a piranha plant. I see Bowser's castle. So a little known fact that you guys might not know, my dad actually works here at Universal Studios. And he told me Super Nintendo World took around three years to make. In this world, they have one ride, which is Mario Kart. We're gonna do that last. But first, we gotta complete all three challenges to go to Bowser's castle. But to be able to complete those challenges, we actually need a power band. And a power band allows you to play all the games and collect coins that you can actually use on your Nintendo Switch. So he's Mario for the day, and I guess I'm Toad. Throughout this whole entire park, it's an interactive world. And these bands right here allow you to interact with everything, whether it's hitting a question mark brick or collecting tokens with all the challenges that you have. Let me show you guys an example. Just take a look at this. We got the classic question mark brick right here. All you have to do, and it'll make a sound. And with his Mario band, he can do the exact same thing. Hit it. Hey, there you go. Let's go. No high five? <laughs> Looks like Beckham found another one. Hey! <laughs> I want to try that too. That's so cool. All right, this is our first challenge. What do we have to do here? So your job is to basically go ahead and set off the alarm. Once you knock out all the clocks, that's how you know you win. Okay, wow. Beckham, are you ready? Hey. Oh, let's go! Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it, Beckham, get it! Go, 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 go! All the red ones. This is actually hard. Oh, did we win? No, we didn't win yet. Keep going, Beckham. It's still going? My band. I lost my band. Hey, we won. Good job, Beckham. Me and Beckham just got our first key. Let's head to the next challenge. So this challenge is all about timing. I have to hit this pal thing to trigger this pal thing to trigger that pal thing to hit the shell, hit that pal thing to get my key. All right, here we go. First try. No. No. Dang, that's hard. How are we gonna do this thing? Now my sister's gonna try it out. Hopefully she can earn our next token to go into Bowser's castle. Dang, that's hard. <laughs> All right, Beckham's going for it. One more try, Beckham. Oh, good try, Beckham. <laughs> He's all sad. All right, now my sister's gonna try it. You got it! Hey! <laughs> now she just earned her key. I like the hoodie. I have the exact same one. Same color and everything. And the sweat. Oh yeah, <laughs> so sick. All right, here we go. Easy. Hey! We earned our key. Our third and final challenge, Beckham is gonna help me out with this one. Ready? You wanna do it? Oh, here you go. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Yes. We got him out of here. Oh, that was hard. Now we just scan this, and that's three keys. Now we can go to the castle. So me and Beckham found a little mine shaft that we're walking up right now, and I think it leads to like an upper part of the park where you can see everything. Whoa. So they have these binoculars right here that shows whatever's going down down there, but it also animates stuff for you as well. Like there's a floating question mark. This right here zooms in and out. Even right there is animated, that's so cool. We're in this like ice castle thing and these are literally everywhere, I have to hit it. Little question mark pow action, come on baby. Hey, this one is huge. Hey. Here's another little Mario thing. Hey, Luigi. I love how it lights up. 
Wow. <laughs> I just have one question. Like, how does this work? There's no projector or anything. It just goes on the wall. Like, how? Now that we completed all three challenges, your boy is getting hungry, and they actually have their own cafe here. And, of course, every single one of the meals in there are Super Mario themed, so I'm excited to try it out. So as we walk in, we see our chef cooking up our meals that we're going to be eating, a.k.a. Chef Toad. Hey, you better make this five stars. Alright y'all, we got all of our food here now. We ordered literally everything off the menu. Beckham, what did you get to eat? You want the cupcake? You have to eat first. No? You don't want to eat first? So this is Beckham's meal right here. I think this is the Mario cheeseburger. It's a kid's meal. But I think Beckham wants to go straight for the dessert. I think this is a princess peach cupcake. Here you go, Beckham. Ooh, frosting on it too, huh? He's gonna be jumping off the walls after this one. What do you give it out of five? Five out of five? Can I try it? No? Okay. <laughs> Beckham, can I please try it? Please? Hey, it looks good though. No, 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 no! Hey, at the share. No, 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 no! No share? Okay. It's really good, it's a five out of five. Oh, no! I'm sorry! So right here we got this superstar lemon squash. On the top here, it looks like we have jelly that's made out of like mangoes. And then we also have popping boba here at the bottom. Let's give it a try. That's so good. Now what do you guys think of it? Oh, we love it. Oh my gosh. This is so good. This is so refreshing and it's hot today. What do you guys give it out of five? The drink a five out of five. Oh, five, five out of five? So five? Oh, yeah. for sure. This has to be my favorite thing off the menu. So it looks like my sister's taking over Becky's burger. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a hat on yours? Yeah. This one's cuter though. It has like the full Mario. Oh yeah, that's the kids one, right? Mm -hmm. It has the pole too. Megum, you didn't open your cube though. Ooh, Do I get to open it or you open it? Do you want to open it? What's in there, Beckham? Ooh, what is that? <gasps> what is that? Yeah. Is it chocolate? Yeah, chocolate? No way. Try it, Beckham. That did not look like a coin no, like that you can good. eat. Can I try it? <laughs> no? Mmm, that's good. So the next thing we're gonna try are the toad garlic knots. Got some green flakes on there, some cheese. It also came with some marinara sauce. Let's dip it in there. Here we go. Third dude sip. I'm gonna give this a three out of five stars. I also have to say the overall design of this place, they nailed it. It looks amazing. It literally looks like I'm eating in Super Nintendo World, like literally. They got green tunnels coming out of the ceiling. They even have animated screens that go outside of the windows to make it look like you're actually there. Even how the employees are dressed. Next up, we got our fire flower spaghetti. We got some shredded cheese on here. Spaghetti, of course, meatballs. And then we also have a little, I wanna say a cheese cookie, I believe it is, with a fire flower on it. So let's start with this. Pretty good. I've never had a cheese cookie in my life, but that's amazing. But we're not gonna go straight for the spaghetti. We're gonna start with our meatball. I'm a big meatball guy. Solid. I know a good meatball when I see it. This is it. Now we go for the main course. Here we go. Let's get a good bite in there. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm gonna give this probably like a four out of five stars for sure. Not bad. Now we're gonna get a little healthy because we have our piranha plant salad. This so far has the best presentation. I just like how it like goes along and it actually makes a piranha and it's made out of tomatoes. This is like what I usually order when I go to a restaurant. I never like to eat really heavy, but um, let's pour this sauce and give it a go. Whoa. You wanna try it? <laughs> I expected that. Here we go. I don't know if I like that. The sauce or whatever like dressing they use is really sweet. I don't like when food is sweet. So far, this is giving two energy. All right, we're gonna try our tomato with pesto sauce. It is what it is, a tomato with pesto sauce. Now we're gonna go with cheese and pesto. It's really good. This is literally exactly what I expected. Like you literally visually can know what it's gonna taste like. A tomato, cheese, salad, and I think asparagus right here to make the plant, so. The asparagus is like really cold, like freezing cold. Solid two out of five stars. I'm looking forward to this one. We got our Mario burger and it comes with a little hat. On top of the bun, we have a mustache, of course, so. All right, that's amazing. The sauce they use tastes like a thousand islands. The bun is really soft. It has little bacon bits right here. And I think they also have mushrooms as well. 4.5 out of five. 
So we're actually only missing one thing off the menu because they literally ran out and it's called the bean pole cake. I had it yesterday with rug and it was amazing. But last up, we have our tiramisu question block. So these are all made up of cookies. We have our tiramisu inside. I think this is edible as well. Becca, you wanna try it? It's like an eraser. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're taking off the walls of the tiramisu. Now that looks amazing. Let's give it a nice cut in half. There we go, oh my. We're gonna get a little slice of that and put it on one of our cookies. Cheers. Best thing I tried so far, other than the drink. This is an instant five out of five stars no matter what. That pretty much concludes our meal here at Toadstool Cafe. I would give the whole overall aesthetic, the food, the vibe that I get here, five out of five. Now we're going to our third and final challenge inside of Bowser's Castle. Let's get him! Yeah! <laughs> you actually have to scan your band to see if you're able to go in if you completed all three challenges too. Hey, I'm good! We have our first Bowser break. The aesthetic of this place is nuts. They have the Bowser spikes right there. They have the little mushroom, the evil one. You can literally interact with everything. Whoa. We're about to head inside our last challenge. We're all queued up in the lobby right now. This is our squad. Up ahead is your final showdown with Bowser Jr. When bomb bombs are tossed at you, use your arms to swat them away. When bullet bills fly toward you, duck to dodge them. This is Swing too easy. To Way too easy. Ball. I hope you're all ready for your final showdown. Ooh. Looks kind of scary in here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, look who I'm next to, huh? Look how small he is. Jump, Beckham. That's so funny. That's sick. Oh, there's the bombs, there's the bombs. Swat away the bombs. Ah! Get the bombs out of here. Wait, this is so cool. That was crazy. Beckham always seems to find these and he just pointed this one out too. Hey, Bowser! Let's do go blue, blue, blue. Make them all blue. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. That was an extra bonus challenge. It has nothing to do with getting into Bowser's castle, but it was pretty fun. We're about to head inside the 1UP factory. It's a huge store that they have here as well. I'm definitely gonna go cop something. Dang, they have so many toys in here. This is crazy. They got little Mario jackets, Luigi toys. This is fire. Little plushies. They also have little lunch pails shaped as stars that holds popcorn. You can pop them open and they also light up. This right here has to be my favorite thing inside of the store because not only is it a question mark brick, but it transforms. You have this little zipper right here, boom. Then you pull what's inside of it. Then you flip it inside out. Then you take the question mark side, put it inside of this. Now it's a star. We're getting this. So it looks like Beckham found what he wanted. Who's that? Now we're headed on the most iconic ride that they have in this land, which is Mario Kart. I'm excited. I'm so excited. This is your first time my too? My first time. Oh my god. It's only a 20 minute wait. Since this whole entire place isn't technically open yet, I expect this 20 minute wait to be like an hour when it officially opens, for Literally. sure. Literally, oh my gosh. <laughs> we're gonna camp out here. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the outside though. They have all these mushrooms outside. They have the shells. There's Yoshi. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the inside of this place already looks insane. Ooh, glow in the dark action. We're entering Bowser's mouth. Pause. And this is what it looks like. This is crazy. And you get this overlook of the whole entire world. It's crazy how accurate it is to the game. Like I'm literally walking in to where I literally would drive a car through. Wow. They have these trophies just like the game. Oh my God, the banana trophy. You can quote me on how many times I've said this today, but attention to detail. They're really leaking all of Bowser's plans right now. 
Whoa, it's like we're on the Wii. We're in the little waiting area before we head on to the ride. That guy right there always picks me up in the middle of the map. They have all the maps here. That's so sick. All right, racer, you're good to go. Here we go. This is sick. Oh, look at all the costumes. They have all the suits that they wear. So we have to put on this Mario hat to ride the ride. Go ahead and grab any. any. Thank you. Oh. I look terrible. <laughs> so on the ride, you put on these glasses that attaches to this. And then in the glasses, it actually shows like things on the screen, if that makes sense. I'm still shook from how sick this is. This is going to be so much fun. I'm excited. <laughs> I want to get that one. The Mario one, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can't get Luigi because it has L on it. I don't want to take an L. <laughs> Oh, we're all just Mario. Here we go. Dude, this is crazy. This is what I'm seeing right now. Whoa! There's so much going on. I know. Uh-oh. Oh, we're going underwater. Oh, Bowser's castle. Oh! Rainbow Road! That was so cool. I think this right here has to be like top five rides of mine in all of Universal Studios. Maybe top three. So now with the power band, you can actually check how much points you've earned throughout the whole entire day. Let's see how many I've earned. Hey, 3,625 points. Stop playing with me. So right outside of Super Nintendo World, they also have three additional drinks and we just got them all. They're all Italian sodas, but let's start off with peach. That tastes exactly like a pina colada. Oh my God, that's so good. Five out of five. Next, we have our Luigi, AKA the green apple. Also comes with a little mustache. And they also have green apple sauce, like type of ice cream on top, which is cool. Mmm. All these drinks also have popping boba inside them as well. The green apple tastes exactly like a green apple warhead. So good, five out of five. Last, we have our Mario, AKA strawberry. Also with a mustache, of course. Okay, that's pretty good. Not my favorite one. I think I like the peach and green apple ones more. Four to five. All around pretty tasty though. So sadly, that wraps up our experience here at Super Mario World. We might just go like explore Universal while we're here. I know you love the minions, right? Yeah, I got your attention. That's what I'm saying. Should we leave? I don't think he wants to leave, but I think we have to. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers and show love to Beckham as well because look how cute he is, right? <laughs> Let's head out of here.